on my way to Fegeboom. Yeah, it is just me in the car at the moment. James is actually busy working. He's gonna be coming down a bit later, but it is a three and a half hour drive. Uh, I'm gonna go put in some fuel now. But I'll keep you guys updated. Hope that you guys enjoy this road vlog. How's it, man? How's it, Steven? Um, I've just left. Okay. Yeah, I'm stuck in traffic. Yeah, don't worry, it's a bit rough today. We also drive it slow. We're only going to get there at 4 o'clock. Yeah, I'm only going to get there at 6. Okay. All right. Okay, yeah, bye. Okay, bye. Next person I'm phoning is James now. And now he's not answering. I'm on my way. I'm gonna be about three hours. Yeah, there's an accident and I don't know how long this is gonna take. But yeah, I kind of knew that this was gonna happen, that uh, I would be stuck in traffic, so. Wow, finally, the open road. Jeez, like it, it took me a whole hour to get onto the actual highway that I needed to be on. Heard finally, I can finally put that cruise control on and just finally drive. Open road, here we come. <laughs> entertaining thing like you guys know but I'm nearing Whitbank Dam or Emalaleni yeah, I'm about half an hour out of Whitbank now <laughs> wasn't the greatest for us and we actually picked up on a really good pattern on the next day they said the first day was terrible but we basically gonna hit up a bank and we're gonna throw underspins deep divers deep diving jerk baits and then I would say about half past 11 we're gonna hit up river and then we're gonna we're gonna fish that river as hard as we can uh, yeah, winter time, it's tough, eh? it's tough. Um, at the moment, it's 18 degrees. I think it's gonna be cold this weekend, so we're all gonna be dressed really, really warm. But yeah, I think uh, those deep diving cranks, deep uh, diving jerk baits, underspins, drop shots, are all gonna be key elements uh, to catching fish this weekend. I think a lot of the people are already there. James hasn't even finished finished work yet. Yeah. concern is uh, when the sun goes down it's going to be a little bit more tricky to drive that road to Fegeboom is terrible okay one hour left it is like extremely far. I cannot believe it. It feels like I've been driving forever. So I have to turn off left 
in 25 k's and it feels like this 25 k's has been like forever far away now getting stuck in traffic Ugh. sun's going down I'm a bit worried about that last road because it's cuck so I might have to drive a bit slower I don't do this very often where I drive alone far distances because I get quite drowsy and it feels like I'm gonna actually pass out at the wheel and we don't want that we don't want to pass out at the wheel because that has huge huge implications on me firstly then obviously people behind me me towing the boat it'll be an absolute disaster one hour and then I'm in Fechies yay woohoo I think what I'll do is I'll update you guys at Fechies Okay guys, I have arrived. Um, I actually arrived about an hour ago. I decided that I would just have a drink or two. I just wanted to walk you guys through the house. It's called the Kerper Heisi. And uh, this is room number one. This is where James is gonna sleep. A fridge basically comes with a basin stove. It's gas, which is really, really cool. It comes with cutlery and everything. My room is basically the same. I've already put my sleeping bag here. I think it's gonna be really, really cold tonight, but it's the exact same as that side. But yeah, that's basically everything to the Kerper Heisi. We just uh, chilling around, around the table. James is on his way. I phoned him and he's about two hours out. I'll give him a call within the next half an hour or hour and a half. And um, that's basically it. So yeah, we just chilling and having a great time.